well, the story of what's going on with Spider-Man 4 takes a interesting turn because it's being reported that Venom will appear in Spider-Man 4. So if you've been keeping up with what many of the same insiders have been saying, the next film is going to be a giant multiverse film, and then it's going to be a more grounded, street-level, Daredevil and Spider-Man team-up film, and then it's going to feature a symbiote and Black Cat, but then it was also going to feature the entire Spider-Man multiverse from live-action returning, and not be sort of No Way Home 2.0, but more like Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness or something. And now we're hearing that, hey, scratch all that, Venom will appear in this film, but maybe not as the primary villain, but as the secondary villain. And it's possible it will be Tom Hardy's version. But others are saying it won't be that, it's just going to be a, a whole new version we get in the MCU. Sure. Yeah, why not? I mean, what happens with Tom Hardy's Venom? Is he just like kicked out of his universe? For this to make sense, that seems kind of counterintuitive to everything Marvel Studios would want to do. So, I kind of believe the whole, hey, we're going to get a different Venom with the leftover symbiote. That kind of feels like the natural course of action because they literally established that in Spider-Man No Way Home. So, I think that works. And at the same time, just looking at like the bigger picture here with uh, pushing Venom. To me, I think it makes sense that you want to start to lean into that but not necessarily build them up as the main villain just yet as i said previously you sort of established the symbiotes there maybe it's been found maybe they're studying it maybe peter's even studying it in school you know whatever he's doing right so i think playing around with that is definitely going to be interesting and then establishing venom as a go-to villain in sequels makes sense you know Lay down the foundation and then get to it. So I'm definitely interested in seeing what happens next and how they do Venom. Because some have also said we could also see Tom Hardy play Venom, but like the MCU counterpart, like a variant. Which again, if that happens, sweet. Although the relationship between whatever MCU's Venom with the age discrepancy could be an issue. Who knows? So let's see how they handle it if it happens before we really you know, commit it to this doesn't work sort of depths of whatever realm we send all these thoughts we have about how it can't work. And then we see and we go, oh yeah, they pulled that off. 